One of the perks of living in the 21st century is that information is right at your fingertips. It also means that there's a lot of misinformation out there on the internet. Now, in this video, I'll be sharing with you the top five skincare mistakes that you should never be doing in the 21st century. But before I continue with the video, ladies and gentlemen, just click the subscribe button because it helps push more videos like this to more people like yourself. Great day, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. Welcome to Skin Fix, the platform whereby we educate you everything regarding skin. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the top five skincare mistakes that you should not be doing in the 21st century. Starting at number five, not wearing sunscreen daily. There are only three basic skincare steps to cleanse, to hydrate, and to protect your skin against the sun. However, a lot of people, sometimes including myself, are guilty of not applying sufficient sunscreen or even applying sunscreen before we go out. Like it or not, UV rays are present all the time. And even on cloudy days, they do penetrate the clouds and get onto your skin. Thus, regular exposure of UV rays, even though it's indirect, can lead to problems like premature aging, hyperpigmentation, reduced collagen, and even worse of all, skin cancer. So imagine if you have a miraculous cream that you can apply to reduce wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, and even prevent skin cancer, would you use it every day? Definitely. So that is the role of sunscreen. So here are a few steps to choosing the right sunscreen for your skin. First of all, it must be broad spectrum. That means it protects against UVA and UVB radiation. And some of the new generations of sunscreen do give you protection against infrared, which is heat, blue light, especially from your phones and from your television sets. And even nowadays, I've seen visible light protection. Next up, choose an SPF anywhere between 30 to 50 with a PA rating of roughly 3 plus to 4 plus. Now, it does not give you maximum protection, but it gives us sufficient protection against those nasty UV rays. And last of all, remember to reapply sunscreen because no matter which brand of sunscreen and no matter what strength of sunscreen you're using, the protection fades away after three to four hours. So reapply your sunscreen every three to four hours. Mistake number four, not moisturizing immediately after you've cleansed your skin. Now, when you cleanse, you're not only removing dirt and unclogging your pores, you're also stripping away precious sebum and hydration from your skin. So the best time to apply any sort of hydration or moisturizer is when your skin is still damp after you've cleansed your skin. Now, if you do not moisturize or hydrate your skin immediately after you've cleansed, your skin can easily dry up. And once it's dry, it can easily be irritated, become sensitive, and become red. And once the skin is irritated, it does compromise your skin barrier, and that will lead to a whole lot of skin problems. Problems like what? Dry skin, wrinkles, blotchiness on your skin, and even your skin might sting after applying your regular skincare products. So the timing is important while applying your moisturizer or hydrators. Make sure you do it right immediately after you've cleansed your skin. Mistake number three that a lot of people are still doing, you're using expired products. Now many of us do not like to waste products, whether it's food or skincare products. And sometimes you've spent your hard-earned money buying a product and forgetting it's on the shelf. And once you have checked the expiry date, you realize it's past the expiry date and you start using them. That is a very major red flag. Expiry dates are on skincare products for a main reason. Once a skincare product has gone past its expiry date, it affects the product's stability, safety, and at the same time, efficiency. Now let's talk about stability first. Skincare products are generally made of tens to hundreds of different compounds held together. Now before the products are expired, they're very stable. And as you apply them, the consistency and texture is as advertised. However, past a particular time period, when the stability starts to break down, it means that these particular compounds start to break apart. That's when sometimes you notice there's gunks or solids in your skincare product where they should not be. A skincare product might be more watery or oilier than what it should be. Now next comes safety. Now we apply skincare products on our skin because we want the benefits of skincare products. Now we apply skincare products on our skin for a lot of different reasons. But more often than not, we trust that the skin companies produce safe products for our skin. However, past its expiry date, the safety of these products are actually questionable. That means there's a possibility the expired products might cause more harm on your skin than good. And last of all, let's talk about efficiency. If a skincare product has a particular function, past its expiry date, you will realize that the function will actually reduce. Example, if you're looking for a skincare product for anti-pigment or to brighten your skin, definitely once past its expiry date, you won't be able to brighten your skin as quickly as a regular product would. So please, just throw away your expired skincare products and save your skin a ton of misery. 
Hey, before I continue with the video, let me know in the comments below if you've ever skipped a day whereby you forgot to wear your sunscreen. Mistake number two, neglecting the neck and the decollar touch areas. Now, these areas, which is the neck and the chest, are usually exposed to sun. However, most of the time when we apply skincare products, whether it's a hydrating, moisturizer, or a sunscreen, we generally just apply it up to the jawline. Hence, one of the jokes that dermatologists would say is, how do you actually know the true age of a person is to look from the neck downwards. And that's where you discover there's lots of wrinkles, saggy skin, and even hyperpigmentation. Overall, ensure that you hydrate your neck and the decolletage areas, and at the same time, apply sunscreen. And the number one mistake that most of you watching at home are actually currently doing, is skipping your skin patch test. Now, a new skincare product might contain chemicals or ingredients that your skin might be allergic to. Hence, that's why doing a skin patch test before starting on a new skincare product is essential and important. Now, the basis behind a skin patch test is applying a little bit of the new product over part of your skin, which is not the face, and see after a couple of days whether there's any negative skin reactions. Negative skin reactions could be skin peeling, skin redness, or even skin itch. Now, there are a couple of areas that I prefer to do a skin patch test on. Two main areas. First, on the inner arm. Now, this is one of the best places I feel to do a skin patch test because visually, you'll be able to monitor on a daily basis whether anything's wrong with the skin. So how do you do it? First of all, you cleanse your skin, you wash it every day, and you take a little bit of the new product every day and just put one small dot on that area. Remember where you've dotted it. If you don't remember, just take a quick photo. And for the next three to five days, apply the same skincare product at the same area and then monitor it. If there's no negative reactions on the skin, the skincare product is right for you. Another place that people like to apply the skin patch test on is behind the ears or over the neck. Now, if you want to use those areas, it's fine by me. But avoid doing a skin patch test over a large surface area that is visible to everyone. For example, your cheeks. So remember, if you have sensitive skin, always do a skin patch test before starting any skincare product. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, top five skincare mistakes that you should never be doing in the 21st century. If you like this particular video, do not forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below which other skincare mistakes that you have seen people do that they should not be doing. Now that's it for me, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor, and always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin, but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.